An Orange County doctor says that he has a coronavirus test that gives you nearly instant results. Yeah, these tests played a major role in slowing the spread in South Korea, and now thousands are on their way to the OC. KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler introduces us to the doctor and his test. And this is the Lancet. This Garden Grove doctor may be one of the first to bring a rapid coronavirus test to the U.S. In 10 minutes, with just one drop of blood, the rapid result serology test can tell you if you have the antibodies to fight the coronavirus. The test is to check the antibodies. So if we have the antibodies, that means we've been exposed to the virus. Unlike the regular COVID-19 swab test approved by the FDA and recommended by the CDC, Dr. Dow says the serology test isn't perfect and it's not been reviewed by the FDA. But he says it's not meant to diagnose, but to help slow the spread by isolating those who may be positive and not know it. This more for the 86% of the infected patient who have, have no symptoms. They are when they're walking around, they'll know that they have they've been infected. So that's when they start spreading everywhere expo exponentially. Dr. Jim Keeney, an ER doctor at Mission Hospital, says the serology test isn't 100% reliable and it cannot be used as a diagnostic tool. But he says it could help combat the continued spread like it did in South Korea. This is all a trade off. We're trading accuracy for speed. And to have an answer right away, it, even though it may be inaccurate in, in a small percentage of cases, it is helpful to have that. that uh, rapid turnaround. Given the fact right now that we essentially have no testing versus that test, I would welcome that test if we had it. The OC Health Department is warning against the use of COVID-19 tests that have not been approved by the FDA, saying that they can produce false results. But that's not stopping Dr. Dow. He plans to get thousands more of these tests here in Garden Grove next week. In Garden Grove, Stacey Butler, KCAL 9 News.